the board, I've discussed this with them. You need that rate study done. We have to have the board educated. Why would it make sense for any of you to have your board consider rate studies without having a, a basic education in rate making? They can do that through a workshop. Certainly, as I said, FRWA suggested that it should be over there so they have access to all the information. This board, to my knowledge, nobody asked for it, nor did I ask for it to be held there. They wanted it in their office. Anything they said would then come to you all so you all can get that same kind of a workshop. Again, why would you want your board? And your board can't be expected to know about rate making. Another Brian, thing, that, another thing that the numbers. commissioner, I'm explaining your answer. I'm answering your question. You, another thing that has been said is you can't have a rate case without a plan of action, without a plan. Fellas, ladies, gentlemen, that is not true. Rate making, you need a cost of service study. A cost of service study says what does it cost to operate this district, what are the capital needs of this district, and what are the impact on rates. That's distilled down to its essence. What are the costs, what are the capital needs, what are the rates need to be? That's the still. It's called cost of service study. That's what you need for a rate making study. We've been doing that. This board has been looking for the past year about the engineering cost, getting a plan of study from engineers, professional engineers. For free from the Florida Rural Water Association, which they went out and solicited and got for free. to have that study completed. We need to stop being diverted from the from the side issue. Let's let the board, including you, Ms. Hull, let's let you guys get the information so you can start to act in the best interest of this board and the best interest of the customers that they serve. And you all need to know that when they put forth their profit and loss statements for those three months to apply to USDA for a loan, Mr. Armstrong's debt was not incorporated in that profit and loss statement. So those documents weren't even, you know, they weren't really accurate. So to Ms. Holmes, if you raise the question, my services are included in the cost of service study that was prepared that we presented to all of you. But we didn't know. Payments discussed with the board. We should provide responses as the questions come up if we're able. And that's what we'll do because people seem to take the fact that questions are raised, questions are raised, and even though answers are given after the meeting or somewhere else, they can The pressure is being made that we still don't know what it's doing, and that's just an unfair, unfair character. But now I just...